Well, hello guys and welcome back to another riveting on the edge of your seat very exciting edition of the liquid gardeners channel now you may be looking at this guy and say what's this guy doing here in this war torn disaster area well i've been making a lot of changes to the system i'll get you guys some update on that but what i was fixing to do was make a radial flow filter which is what you see right here the barrel that was a radial flow filter yeah like what am i doing here <laughs> anyways um you know i was going to clean it out and kind of show you guys go through because i'd made some changes to actually make it work even better and lo and behold what did i see but some fry in the top of the barrel now it's just been a few weeks ago that i uploaded a video where i'd got some fry and so i'm like man i saw this and i started seeing more i said well let me just go ahead and unattach it which that's another subject i don't never i didn't glue none of my pipes there which can be a good or a bad thing depending but there's some things i do to keep it from popping out plus it's not under high pressure so anyways i started uh going through this barrel here and uh there was a lot more than just fry in this thing let me show you i'm sitting there trying to get it out because like what there's some fingerlings down in here so you know i didn't uh actually get to clean the barrel out yet so you're going to see in this little net that i bring up there's going to be you know some fish food and whatever else waste that was at the bottom of the tank usually i take this stuff and i put it on my uh um you know my just land garden some trees fruit trees and so forth but i went ahead and put it into this makeshift net you know that's one thing if you're going to do with aquaponics at least come on man look at this guy come on man get a decent net don't get this thing later on my wife come out and saw says what are you trying to do with that so she went and got me some nets but for right now <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm using this <coughs> poor excuse for a net. But check it out. If you can see them in there, you can see the little fly buzz fry buzzing around. But yeah, there's some nice little fingerlings in there. So what I did was I made another system which I got a video on. It's on the other side of where I'm standing right now. It's another little simple system setup and uh I'll go through with that with you guys too because it really didn't cost that much and I that's one of the videos I wanted to show you was how I went through and did that so let me go ahead and bring you over here and show you what I got going on in the top of this tank look at them they're everywhere now the problem with it if I wouldn't have caught these fry in here let's say I just would have waited till the next day there probably wouldn't be very many unless they had escaped into the uh, radial flow filter because those fish will hit them like nobody's business so I had to get to work getting my little makeshift net out and uh, I'll bring you, you see me fry right now now I'm putting them in here in the other net now what I have in here in that other little not that other net but that other little tank over there if you've seen a few videos back as well I uh, posted one about some fingerlings where I'd had some fry before so I made that tank a tank for free at the fingerlings needless to say guys I need some more tanks I think um, and I may need to get rid of some fry <laughs> and eat some big fish so once you get this ball rolling with tilapia it's uh, it's a pretty good ball to roll it's kind of like a snowball and uh, if you get the water conditions right which listen I have not worked a whole lot to really um, you know I see people really you know going over the I wouldn't say over the top but they're really working hard to make sure everything's just right I haven't done nothing I had these fish in the tank I kept good water quality and let nature take its course and now nature's taking its course in a big way and so I'm thinking that uh, I need some birth control. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, there's a problem I ran into putting them into this other tank, and I'll get into that right here in just a sec. Okay, so when I was working here, first of all, you can see I've had these little fried in a new tank. This is a little 10 gallon tank I had. 
Um, so yeah, I went ahead and put them in here after you saw me putting them in that other tank. And what happened was, when I was putting them in that other tank, you know, I'm sitting there working, getting them out of the one big tank. I start hearing this pop, 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 pop. And I turn around and the fingerlings that I have in there were starting to devour the fry that I just put in the tank. I thought, oh, they're gonna, they're all small. They'll get together, there'll be no problem. Well, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> they were picking them things off fast and I, could, I was like, I gotta get these things out of here. So anyways, that was the story of that. I'm in this new home now, and I plan on kind of keep you guys updated a little bit more. One of my main problems is sometimes I get sidetracked. I'll make some videos and I'll come back and follow up. So hopefully in the future, I'm going to get a little bit better at that. It's probably frustrating. I know it's frustrating to me when I'm watching somebody do something like, okay, what happened next? And then you never see what happened next. So in keeping with that, let's go ahead and get some good cold hard facts about these tilapia these little fry now these fry were put in this tank april 22nd that's when this was shot right here and as of today making this video it is june the 4th so it's been a little bit over a month i actually have some more videos with more footage you know, i'm trying to really keep abreast of you know, at least quite every once in a while every once a week take a video and kind of see the footage of the growth difference and I'll be honest with you some of them man you can definitely you can definitely tell the difference and you know after doing some research on it that's just typical now of course the way they were bred I'm sure if I got like selective breeding pick this pick that you know got the best together weaned out the fat and all that it would probably be surely it would turn out better but this is kind of a hobby you know maybe turn a little bit more sometime i don't know but right now i'm just kind of having fun with it and trying to inform you guys as well as long as i go myself so if you keep watching i'll keep making them and we'll figure this thing out together we'll get some uh i have some more footage coming up like i said of the fish i got a bunch on some memory cards right now and i just want to thank everybody for watching don't forget to subscribe like if you got questions put them down there I'll do my best to answer them with what I know like I say there's still a lot to learn but hey thank goodness for YouTube right <laughs> all right guys thanks a lot for watching y'all have an awesome day I may put a little bit of music on here and just let y'all watch the fish I know it's a little bit blurry it's because the fish are so small and the camera's probably trying to focus in on them when they get really close it actually gets them all right guys y'all take it easy bye